Does change at all since the October 7th event? Yes and no. I mean, have they changed? I want to be very clear. What are my views? I, I, I've been to Israel twice. I love Israel. I love Israel the place. I love Israel. Um, I love Israel as it protects access to biblical archaeology. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be checking out another interesting video by Charla Kek titled I can show you exactly why Israel should exist. Wow. I believe this is going to be very interesting. So let's start with the video. Go. With the events that have happened, so I know like you've vocally supported Israel a lot in the past. Yep. And I'd just like to ask, have your views changed at all since the October 7th event? Yes and no. I mean, have they changed? I want to be very clear. What are my views? I, I've been to Israel twice. I love Israel. I love Israel the place. I love Israel. Um, I love Israel as it protects access to biblical archaeology. Um, I'm not an unapologetic defender of the government of Israel, and I want to make sure that's clear. But I am a defender of the nation state of Israel to exist as, as a homeland for the Jewish people. Um, but I, I, anytime Israel does something I don't like, I say something about it and I get attacked from every side. I get called a Jewish shill by some people, and then I get attacked as anti-Semitic. For example, I was one of the leading voices that said it was very suspicious, the intel failure that led to October 7th. I, yeah. I was one of the few people that was willing to say that, and I stand by that. Oh yeah, that's great to hear. But, but I, I, I am very pro-Israel as far as the promise of the Jewish people, seven million individuals out of 14, having a home. I, I believe that is an idea that needs to be defended, a, a, a Jewish state in the Middle East. I do. But why does it need to be defended by U.S. tax dollars? No, that's, that's a good question. So um, to the amount, it's hard to, it's hard to justify the amount of money recently, the $26 billion. Yeah. But are you a Christian? Uh, yes, I am a Christian, but I do not believe in the Schofield Bible. Because okay. I know the Schofield Bible is the Bible that a lot of Christian Zionists cite. So yes, I am a Christian, but I am not a Zionist. Yeah, so I'm not going to I'm not going to even win you over on Zionism. I do believe uh, that Israel has a place in God's plan, but I'm not even going to win you over on that. But I think I can win you over that we should, as Christians, have access to Capernaum, Nazareth, the Mount of the Beatitudes, and what happens when we don't? For example, in Bethlehem, it is harder and harder for Christians to access those holy sites. So my main contention is that the veracity of the scriptures is proven true by our ability to navigate the Holy Land. But is that harder based on the Palestinian government yes. or the Israeli government the, having very tight controls on who visits the West Bank and the Gaza this Strip? This particular example in Bethlehem, the birthplace of our Lord and Savior, uh, is controlled by the PA. And Muslims have largely taken over the Bethlehem, and it is very unsafe for Christians to visit Bethlehem. But like Muslims regard Jesus a lot higher than That's Jews. Right. He do. is the fourth. You're right. He is the fourth holiest figure in Islam. Yeah. Um, and in in traditional uh, Talmudic Judaism, Jesus is not very. Yeah, they they say a yeah. lot of nasty things it's, about him in the Talmud. But however, I will say though that in Israel, under its current government, if you and I went right now, I could show you where Jesus rose from the dead. I can show you where Jesus walked on water. I can show you where Jesus preached the Mount of the Beatitudes. I cannot right now safely bring you to the Hall of the Patriarchs in Hebron, the Hall of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, Rebecca, and Leah, because that is largely under Palestinian control. There's one sliver controlled by the Israeli government. So there's two sides to this. Um, and insofar that we are allowed as Christians access to the holy sites, and then I'm not going to win you on the other one, which is I do believe that Israel has a place in God's final plan, but I'm not going to win you over on that. So. I mean, I just believe that, I mean, like from reading the Bible, when Jesus is referring to Israel, he is referring to people that follow him. Like when, like when you told Paul and the other apostles, you said, go preach to the Gentiles because... Anyone who accepts Christ has a place in God's kingdom. No, you're totally Cause, right. Because we so, have the old, we have the old covenant where I mean, of course, foreigners could join, but they did make it very hard. Very where, where God said to Abraham that his descendants would bless mankind, and that G blessing Genesis was 3. Yes, and that blessing was the savior of mankind. Then the savior of mankind said, "The old laws have been fulfilled. Now there's a new law. Yep. Where follow me." And you are saved. So we're not so, going to agree on this. There's a biblical prophecy that talks about Israel being spread across all the nations and being bound up 
in normative evangelical theology, which I believe in, is we believe that the creation of the state of Israel in the 1940s was a fulfillment of that prophecy. We're not going to agree on that, right? I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Latter-day Saint. No, that's fine. I know. We're not going to yeah. agree on it. But, hey, I will say, though, the LDS, they have an amazing church in Jerusalem. You should visit it sometime. Yeah, the Jerusalem Center. I know. You should yeah. check it out. God bless, man. Thanks for your support. Appreciate it. All right. It. Christ is king. I agree. Christ is king. Thank you. Wow. Wow. I believe the, this, this young man or the student that actually asked the question uh, was, really was really intellectually honest to some extent, unlike some, some delusional people. You can tell the fact he's stating. Uh, which I believe uh, Charlie, Charlie Kirk also accepts. Some of them are, are actually are actually true. Some of them are actually true. And uh, Charlie Kirk has also explained that uh, Israel, why Israel should exist, or the, why Israel should exist. Israel is the only place uh, that other, is the only place whereby you can find others historic events that have been recorded in the bible is the only place whereby uh, is the only place you can go and actually see the bible come to life the only place you can see all those things that have been explained in the bible where jesus was born where jesus changed change uh the water into wine and a lot of miracles the only place you can go and really see these miracles uh the only place you can go to believe those things that actually happen in the Bible is is Israel. That's the reason why. Uh, that's the reason why he, 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 you, we have to support Israel as Christian. It's not saying it's going to. It's not saying. Uh, it's going to support Chalakeke is trying to explain to him that. Uh, it's not saying it's going to support Israel when they do something that when they do something that is wrong. When Israel do something that is wrong. Uh, is going to uh, uh, is going to be bold about it to tell them what they did uh, what they did uh, what they did is wrong and I think I like that about Charlie Cake. he always goes after the truth he always said the truth no matter what no matter no matter uh, no matter the condition and just like Charlie Cake has rightly explained I believe uh, the 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 whole reason where by the Christians are not allowed to visit some of their holy land, which which uh is under the 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 Palestinian uh, territory, which is under the Palestinian control. I believe uh, uh the only reason why that the only reason why such such thing uh why the 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 people of Palestine are taking control over those places, why the Muslims are taking control over those places. I believe it should be. As a result of the conflict, uh, the conflict between Israel and the country, the conflict between Israel and Gaza, uh, to be specific, the uh, to be specific, the Hamas group, which has been labeled as the terrorist group, and I, for one, I believe uh, if there's a way, uh, uh, this conflict between Israel and uh, and Gaza, the Hamas group, to be specific, can be settled. I believe. Uh, uh, all this issue they, they they are talking about uh the the Palestinian people restricting uh the 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 people of Israel restricting Christians to visit their holy place uh which is in the territory of uh the Palestine I believe all this issue can, all this issue will be settled if there's if uh the conflict between Israel and the the Palestine can be settled I believe all this issue they are talking about will be settled and i don't see any reason why the christian should be should be denied the christian should be denied to visit their holy place and uh sorry to say uh if i'm not mistaken i also believe the 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 islam the islam they owe jesus as someone that they owe jesus uh, uh to a great deal uh the way the way we 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 christians the way we christians uh, believe in Jesus. I believe uh, the, the in Islam, the Muslim, they also believe in Jesus. Just that uh, the, uh, the way we see Jesus is different from uh, is different from the way they uh, the way they see Jesus uh, is different from the way they see Jesus. We the Christian we see Jesus as uh, the Son of God, which is uh, God of uh, we believe on we believe in the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three God in one, the Holy Trinity. But in Islam. They see God as prophets. 
and even as at that, even as at that, they 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 they, they respect Jesus a lot. I believe the 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 only place which which uh, Talakik was talking about in this video uh, about uh, uh, where Jesus was born, uh, Bethlehem. I believe uh, in Islam that 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 is also a, 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 a holy place to to those in, in, in that's also a holy place to those in Islam. And I would like to hear your comments. What do you like about Talakik's opinion? What do you like about the student opinion? Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Thank you.